This time in Real Draw Pro, we are going to make what I consider the coolest chrome effect ever. This would be very handy for maybe the border of a button or maybe the frame around a bitmap image photograph or something like that. For this uh, video, we're going to make just a simple old button. I'm going to start with the circle tool. Holding shift, drag out your circle. Make it about like that. I'd like a nice medium gray for this color because it will blend well once we get into the bitmap part of it later. So now we have a simple gray circle. Let's make a copy of it and paste it right on top. Let's make the top one maybe this rust color here and the bottom one will keep gray. Select the bottom one and go into the dimensions palette. We need to make it 10 to 15 pixels larger depending on your final button size. This is a massive button that you probably will not ever use anything this size on your web page or your projects. But for this video we'll make it a little bit larger. So let's, uh, let's give it about 25 extra pixels. So we'll go 258 wide whoops and 258 high. Press enter and there you can see we've just made it a bit bigger. I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard while I select the other circle in the layers palette. So now we've got them both selected. You could also simply do this and drag across both of them to get them both. What we want to do is align them on their centers. So I click the align center button in the lower toolbar and there you see they are perfectly aligned. We need to make a few copies of these because we're going to, going to be uh, cutting and pasting and copying and pasting and doing all sorts of things with these two very basic shapes. The first thing we want to do is with this back layer, instead of having it as a circle, we need to make it just a ring. To do that, we will duplicate both circles. Copy and paste, and this one here. Copy and paste. Now this one is on the top. We'll move it to the very bottom. Let's turn off two of them, select our top circle and our bottom circle. I did that while I was holding shift on the keyboard. And we're going to combine them while removing anything that overlaps, just like that. You can see in RealDraw it, it doesn't really get rid of the first circle, but if you click in the layers palette and choose, you only have three circles. Now we've got our full gray circle. We've got our regular ring here, and then we've got our top circle, like so. For our top circle, we're also going to make a copy of it. Let's change its color a bit to be maybe blue, blue and rust. We'll make a copy of this one. This will be what gives us our mouse over, so that's for later. Let's rename it mouse over, lock it in place, and we'll hide it for now click OK. This is our circle here. We can give this a bevel by opening the bevels palette. Smooth bevel and let's just jack these parameters up all the way to the top. Looks like a pretty good button right there. We'll call this, well let's call this button circle. We'll lock it in place and let's hide it for now also. So, okay. So now we have our back circle here, which is gray. Turn it off. And our ring circle. Our ring, we need to make a duplicate of. So let's copy and paste it. Let's move it down in the layer stack below our two button things. And we'll call that the end of part one of the coolest chrome effect ever. <laughs>